Living it up in Stillwater, Oklahoma. A definite buzz inside Obrey. Young and old getting ready for this one. Arkansas and Oklahoma State. And that is. You see that on a commercial because these guys are going to get it done on the bump. And that is elevated. How about a celebration afterwards? Out of here. Brady Slavens. Safe to say he's got it all. Already on the bump. Ready for the next pitch. That's a fastball up and away. Slavens had great extension right there. Clears the bleachers out in right field. And Cam Smith, he's been really solid this season. Kind of was having a little bit of uh, arm fatigue. Not pain, but just a little bit of fatigue. So Arkansas shut him down the last couple of weekends. And, and that is a leadoff walk for Rock Ridge. Lasted two and two thirds. Allowed five earned runs. That's well low in Riggio. Scoots up in the scoring position. Earhart with the bunt. He's got wheels. Going to be a tough play in the dirt. No. Riggio going to try to score the throw. Turner with the tag. He lost it. He's safe. And a heads up play. Earhart takes second base. No one was covering third. But fortunately, Earhart dancing on third. And that is up. No, base is loaded. It feels okay with that pitch count one inning. Chops. Wallace will step on third. So that was high volume. High strength. Looks like he made it backed off just a hair. To right field. Gone! Robert Moore. Out of way to get your first hit in the regional. Can we get a clock on the sprint? That's not a home run jump. From the left-hand side, that was a fastball down and in. He was just going to figure out, is it going to stay fair or foul? And you can see the excitement. He's a guy that plays with a lot of emotion and just snuck that ball inside that foul pole. Atkinson from Idaho. Another bunt attempt straight back to Smith. Wisely goes straight to first base. Doesn't even have really tough out of the bullpen for Arkansas. And he's, he's almost unhittable for against left-handed hitters, but he's also able to get righties out as well, so. Well hit center field. Webb took a step in, and he goes over his head off the batter's eye. That will be a ground rule double when Riggio was thinking three. The initial step was the 2-2. Got him swinging. Up the middle, look what I found. Evan Taylor, what a play. And once again, in 2016, Arkansas with 10 all time. Uh-oh, where did this ball go? Wow. That is out of the town limits of Stillwater. It's exactly what that was for McLean. Three home runs here in the region. Now off a broken windshield. Through on the left side, past Wallace. Here comes Atkinson. Seeley's going to keep him at third base. Stand up double for Caden Trinkle. Yeah, Zach Morris is going to sit in that low 90s with that fastball. Big overhand curve. He is a strike thrower. Uh-oh, Riggio to his favorite spot, right field, it's good. Oh, it says bring it on, let's get a little more noisy. This dude has an edge about him. <laughs> right there. Wow. No good. delayed call. Zach Morris gets the strike. So welcome back to Stillwater. Our apologies for the delay. Hopefully, you just saw that. Caden Wallace going down. And a good response here for the Razorbacks as Wallace 
goes yard to center field, his third. Manzilli to third base, McLean on the run. And Mindum cannot make it. Ripped McLean to second, to first, double play. McLean, Terrigio. Play that well in the different sports. Long range, Riggio not able to make that play. And Stovall is aboard safely. That's a really smart play. The five hits, four home runs. And that is smacked as well. But Jake Thompson out left. So here we go again. Another with all of his pitches. Ripped right side. Good play by Mindham. He'll take it himself. They're going to walk Hayden Walsh. I think this is a really, really smart move by Josh Holland. Point on his back and get ready to rip to center. It's dying. It's down. One run scores. Two are in. And so the gamble backfires. You intentionally walk Caden Wallace to load the bases, and Michael Turner makes you pay. And we Hit hard up the middle. Atkinson on for the third time. First hit tonight. One last night. Hit sharply. Right past battles. Trickle had the Riggio over at first, and that is laced to center field. Webb is going to be there. Is he going to be deep enough to tag? Yes. And that should be easy enough for Caden Wallace. Oklahoma State leaves two. Laid off of it. Ripped down in center field and battles. Gets his second hit. That hits Stovall. Got runners on the corner. Two outs, and that's hit to center field. Trankel on it, lays out. He made the catch. He made the catch. If, if Trinkle's not left-handed, he doesn't make that catch. He has to reach across his body if he's right-handed. Outs again. Back to, back to being left-handed. Hard shot, that's on the chuck. Will it be another double? Dorshing with his third double of the Stillwater Regional. With two strikes, so that is laced to center field. Webb makes the catch. Dorshin. Okay. Like, tell us a little bit about Cole Ramage. He's that fastball that's going to sit 90 91. A big overhand curve. Ramage. On the grass to take away the punt. To first base. What a play by Stovall. Thought about it, lost it. Here comes Dorshin. He's in safely. A lot happening very quickly for Oklahoma State. And that's going to find some vacancy right side. Atkinson will bring home a run. McLean scores more insurance for Oklahoma State. Tranquil hits continue to drop. And that's case in point. What an at-bat by Riggio to plate Atkinson. The throw to third will not be in time. Trankles into third. Rock Riggio. Zebulon Vermillion. Yeah, Vermillion's going to sit with that fastball in the mid-90s, straight over the top. Hit hard to left field, right on the money to Gregory. And that will end it. A little family rivalry there. Let's hit well to left field. Thompson back and gone. Michael Turner. It had been all singles up to that point. Behind the dish, blocking baseballs. Just a really professional approach right there. Inside out. Drove that baseball over that left center field. Six, Oklahoma State here at the top of the seventh. Get well to right field on the run over Earhart's glove. And that will be two bases. And the Hogs are right back in it. But a knock here. And who knows? Struck well. Thompson throws on it. Off the top of the fence. Off 
the top of the fence. Robert Moore with his second home run of the night. Big swing by Robert Moore. Back to back, opposite field home runs. That's not a bad pitch. It's down in the zone. And look at the ricochet right there. Arkansas hasn't really had the ball bounce their way. Well, they do right there. <laughs> Literally. Change it. Hit well. That's going to drop. Lanzilli is not going to have time to make the throw. Another extra base hit in the best for Arkansas. Out of the bullpen and one of the best in America enters the game. Brady Tiger, get to know the name because this guy can absolutely deal. Tiger delivers. Got it off the count. It will move the runner up to third base, so that is not the worst outcome. And that is a two-out walk. Capper to first. It's going to be close. Oh, that is a close one. Moore bobbled it, did it have a chance. Two runs as we begin the eighth. And that is going to get past McLean. Stovall with the leadoff single to left. And that hit Gregory. Oh, that hits him in the hip. Back to back hit batters. Inside, ball four, one run game. A little more like Fayetteville. And that is a bases loaded walk. Oklahoma State is giving this game to Arkansas. It's tied at 10. You think back to the at bat that walks and hit batters here in the eighth and another one. Arkansas has taken the lead. This is incredible. Three straight three. Full count, bases loaded. Another walk. Four straight free passes with the bases loaded. That's tradition right there. Brew hat. Yeah, beer hats. Oh, no! Battles deep into the night! That's left the stadium entirely! What a swing by Jalen Battles. I love the aggressiveness. First pitch right down the chute. Martin is going to be in that mid-90s with the fastball. Battles doesn't miss it. Oh, my goodness. That one that was hit as far as McLean's. That yeah. was a they reviewed it to see if he leaned into the pitch. He leans into this one. That's dropping in right field. The hits keep coming. Gregory charting to second. He's there. And Zach Gregory has his first hit in Stillwater. And it's over. Finally for Oklahoma State. Arkansas. See that too often. Especially when everything. Robert Moore's about as good as it gets. Oh, what the helmet. What is happening? Whatever it takes, right? Chop to third. Wallace on the run. The flip to first, and it's two down. Well, that's really tough. Hit well to left. It's dying, though, and that will drop. Two runs will score on contact. Brett Brown's got to report. Yeah, McIntyre's not a hard thrower. He's going to sit in that upper 80s, maybe touch 90, 91 with the fastball. He's got a little bit of run. Then walk and hit. That's laced to center field. Webb is on it, however. And Will McIntyre does the job to have not hit a batter. To McLean at third base, double play to end the threat. And that's another hit batter. Turner. One out, two runners on. Rip to left field. Will it go? Yes, 
It does. A three-run shot by Chris Lanzilli. Arkansas has come to life here late in the night in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Then you come back and you answer. Not much of a follow-through, but just a bullet. And he barely kept that ball spot to feel comfortable. And that bounces. Spank to Brown on the wrong tough play. That gets away from Mindum. And the hard hustling Robert Moore is able to score. Tack on another one for the Razorback. This man came in. Got a strikeout as he goes down on strikes. Chopped up the middle, tough play. Robert Moore scoops and delivers a strike to Stovall. Arkansas one out away. McIntyre trying to close it out. And he does. A throw down the first, and Arkansas does it. Unbelievable. 15 runs over the seventh, eighth, and ninth. Down by two going into the eighth. Four free passes with the bases loaded. Jalen Battles absolutely unloads one out of the stadium to left. And the Razorbacks would not give it away. The question now is, how does Oklahoma State respond?